All right, Levi, so a couple things that we went over. First of all, we talked about this bar chord, which in short was basically just an A minor chord that would slid up two frets to form what would now be a B minor chord. And we could take our first finger, our index finger, and bar these five strings so that it acts as a capo. And that's what we get. Now we can do this with anything. Next week we're going to get like these E shapes, right? We can take an E chord, move it up on let's say two frets, make an F sharp, and your first finger is a capo. So practice that one. The other new chord that we had worked on was A major, which is your first finger is going to go right here on this second fret of the fourth string. Middle finger is going to come right here on the second fret of the third string. Your third finger is going to come right here on the second fret of the second string. You're going to start here from this fifth fret. Work on that. The other thing that we had done, just kind of for fun, was um, the kind of tapping part in eruption. The... What you're going to do here, I'm just going to give you one brief part to work on. Take your index finger. You're going to tap the 12th fret of the B string while your first finger is holding the 5th fret of the B string. So that's what you get. Try that so, so you can get that sound. Then we're going to take our ring finger, our, our third finger, we use that to hit the 8th fret of the 2nd string. So it's like this. See if you can get to this point. Really slow. Just like that. It's pretty simple. Um, now we're playing triplets, triplet, 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 triplet. I can remember these because it kind of reminds me of chocolate, chocolate, and I like chocolate. So chocolate, 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 chocolate. Let me know if you have any questions with this, and I'll see you next time.